Hi, I'm Aaron Harker with Weld Revolution, introducing the SpinArc technology to the, to the Bugo team. I wanted to show you what we're doing today. It's a demo setup. This is three quarter inch plate. As you can see, there's no bevel. And this is a 3 8 opening. You can see these are machined. It doesn't need to be machined. It can just be the off the mill plate. All I would say is with the grinder, just make sure it's clean inside the groove. Take off the mill scale. So our setup today, we have a Miller Auto Access and an MDS with height control and a linear weaver. So I'm going to show you how to set up the torch, the power supply, and the joint to make sure you have a good demo. So first, let's start with the power supply. Today we're using 052 metal core. Also works very well with 045 metal core up to 1 16th and 035 solid wire. So this is the setup for wire feed speed and voltage. We're in CV, so this isn't in pulse. Um, it does run in pulse, but it makes for an easier setup for your first time. So going through the process setup, have MIG, metal core, 86R, 052, and C10 gas. We can, we can use 8020, C10, just as long as it's above C80% uh, argon and higher. So then we're set program-wise on the machine. We're at 475 inches a minute and 30 on the volts. So let's go to the spin arc side of things. This is our control box. This controls the spinning motion and the clock, clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Because we're in the flat and running inside the groove, it doesn't matter if we're in clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to choose clockwise. Right here, this is our remote and on and off settings for the spin. So to turn on the spin and watch what it's doing, you turn it to the on, you can hear the motor starting. And when you're ready to make the weld and the bug sends the trigger on signal, that's when you turn it to remote and the spin will start simultaneously when you start the bug arc. And this is just the power on and off. The other very important function is right here is the dial that sets the RPM of the spin. So the RPM at a set function and at a set diameter, which we'll talk about in just a second on the torch, gives you a small variation in your width. So for this joint with the 3 8 gap, we're setting it at 1200 RPM. So once it's set, when you turn it on, it'll give you feedback to exactly what the torch is set at. Okay, so I'm going to set it on, on on right now. You can see the torch itself is spinning. I'll show you how to first align the plates. So if you move the bug back into position, so I'm dropping it down. With the spin on, I like to put it in the joint and align one end with the spin directly in the center and secure this end. So now the torch is in the center of the joint. I'm going to move the, the bug down to the other end and make sure it's in the center and then we should be lined up. If you're in a dark shop or a dark place, it's good to have a flashlight. That way you can visualize what's going on inside the groove. So now the plate is in the center at this end and that end, so I know we'll have a straight shot. And if necessary, you could steer with the linear weaver side to side if, if you're slightly out. So now I'm going to talk about the spin setting on the torch. So I'll turn the spin off here. So there's a removable cap here. You can slide down and it exposes the inside of the torch. This is where you set, we call the spin setting, but that's the diameter of the rotation at the end of the wire. So at spin setting one, it's a really tight and small diameter. Spin setting eight, it's very large. So for this joint with the 3 8 gap, we'll be choosing a spin setting of four, so about in the middle range. And the RPM, of course, as we talked about, is, is 1,200. So how you set that is there's two cams that come together. You lift those and twist, 
and then you set it back in and there's um, two balls in a socket that they set in with a spring to make sure it stays in that setting. So once that's set, you push up and twist and it locks in the cap and you're ready to weld. The travel speed for this joint is set at 16 inches a minute. So there's no weaving needed, it's just straight line. The selling point, why I'm set this up, the selling point for this joint is once again you don't need to bevel. There's no beveling, it's just two plates put next to each other. The spinning action ties in both sidewalls equally as you go down the joint. And so you eliminate lack of fusion that would be of concern without spinning. Okay, so we're set, set up. Let me grab my helmet and we can weld. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Aaron with Weld Revolution. Let's go spin to win.